Right, so, you're about to assemble and solder up your slime VR trackers. Wanna avoid some common mistakes? Yeah, well, then allow me to show you the basics of soldering up your trackers. Hey, quick interjection from future me, in regards of your own safety. Um, always solder in a well-ventilated area, preferably near a window with a fan nearby. Um, I shouldn't have to say this, but these fumes are not okay. As we all know, lead is poison, but soldering at these temperatures, the lead is very far from boiling. So the only real risk of like lead poisoning would be digestion. So like, wash your hands when done, kids. And like, don't go huffing in these fumes because you're not going to be feeling so well. All right, that out of the way, just let's just move on with the video, shall we? All right, let's start by like getting all this intro crap out of the way. Thanks, me from the past. Doing a great job there. All right, so go get your stuff. You're going to need some solder, preferably a solder sucker, to undo some of the mistakes that you might make along the way. Some pliers, always helpful. Some solder wick, uh, whoops. Um, yeah, as I said, some solder wick is an alternative to the solder sucker if you can't find one of those. A lighter for your heat shrink. Maybe even a third hand, if you so desire. It makes your life a whole lot easier. And of course, your soldering iron itself, because obviously. Right, whack on that iron and just wait for it to heat up to about anywhere between 300 and 350 degrees Celsius. This could take a while. Once hot, the solder should easily melt and stick to the tip of the iron. As you can see right here, totally not a problem. Now start out with your wire and strip some of the insulation off at the end. Now grab the cable and twist the end that we just stripped clean and twist it all together to keep it nice and tidy. Now we're going to tin and clean up the end of the wire. Apply a little bit of solder to the iron for better heat transfer and hold it against the bottom of your wire. You want this to heat up the wire then melt a little bit of solder against the opposite side of the wire and let it melt into the wire and not against the iron. You don't need a lot of solder for this. And that's your wire prepared and nice and clean. Now grab one of your components to attach the wire to. A common mistake I see a lot of people make is people that wire on top of the pads. Don't do this. You're only making your life a lot more difficult. The wire is supposed to go through the hole. See, like this, like a glove, basically as if it was meant to be. Put your wire into place and grab your soldering iron. Again, apply a little dab of solder to the tip for better heat transfer and heat up the wire from the bottom whilst feeding in solder from the top. This might take a bit of practice to get the right amount of solder, but you'll get there in the end. Now snip off the excess wire that's still sticking out. And look at that, solid and into place. However, as you can see here, I'm demonstrating another common mistake that I see very often, and that is leaving too much wire exposed above the PCB. Luckily, this is really easily fixed. Just reheat your solder joint and push the wire through and hold it still as it cools. Now it's time to desolder wire. Not that you'd have to do this very often, but I'm gonna show you anyways. This is so simple, even your dog could do it. All you have to do is heat up the solder and pull the wire out. But now you're left with a closed hole in your board. Well, fear not, that's where you can use the solder sucker or even a toothpick for that matter. This cheapo $5 Amazon solder sucker works just fine. All you do is compress the sucker, push it against the opposite side of the closed hole now heat up the solder with your iron, and when molten, push the button to release the sucker. There, hole cleared in the blink of an eye. Isn't that cool? Alternatively, you could opt for solder wick, which absorbs the solder when heated. Just place a piece on top of the hole against the solder and heat up the wire with your iron. This stuff magically wicks the solder right up out of the hole. And there we go, good as new. And now last, but not least, heat shrink. Please, people, use heat shrink to insulate your stuff. It's gonna save you a lot of time and it's gonna look a hell of a lot better. 
All you have to do is slide the appropriate size heatshrink over your wire and slightly hit it with hot air or the flame of a lighter. Also, quick note, don't forget to clean your soldering iron after each use to just keep the tip nice and make it last longer. And that's it. That should be most of what you need to know before soldering up your slime VR trackers or any project for that matter. I hope this helped you in any way and will get you started on your project. And I'll see you next time.